Hi guys and welcome to the Catrim Cave, episode 1, what's in the kit when you buy a brand new Catrim in kit form from Catrim Cars. I'm Brett and this is my man cave and this is my Catrim. So this is the car, how it gets delivered from Catrim. The one thing you may have noticed already is the roll cage, which is an option I chose. The car itself comes with the body panels pre-fitted. Uh, the body panels are actually aluminium. The dash itself is pre-installed for you with all the wiring already done. The gauges, all the switches are already installed. The interior panels are also pre-installed for you. Uh, you may have noticed I have carbon fiber panels. The standard panels are the aluminium panels with um, carpet over them. The reason why I chose carbon fiber panels purely because um, when they get wet in the rain, um, they take very long for them to dry. So I'm still debating on if I'm going to put the car uh, carpet along the tunnel. I still need to think about that. The other thing I opted for was the boot cover is a carbon fiber effect. I'm not sure you can see there. Um, the standard boot cover is just a black vinyl boot cover. So the one thing you may have noticed, I don't have a windscreen. I found that most people who've had a windscreen, they've later changed to an aero screen. So I decided to go for an aero screen from the start. So that's what the engine bay is. Let me just give this. So that's what the engine bay looks like. Um, <clears throat> all the wiring's already been done, batteries installed, brake cables installed, sorry, brake lines installed. And this is the engine, how it gets delivered. Um, it comes on the pallet. In that big box below, is a gearbox, it's a Mazda 5-speed, I believe it's uh, the Mazda NC version. <clears throat> and in the box above is one of the boxes or parts, um, which I'll give you, show you now quickly while we're here. In the pink are the uh, primary header pipes. Um, the blue is the collector and below it is the brake cable. Uh, this is a drive shaft, another drive shaft, dipstick, uh, prop shaft. Sorry, this is no drive shaft. <clears throat> this is the rear exhaust. Um, I've op opted for the track day exhaust. Uh, this is the connector pipe and it's the rear pipe. The drive shafts are actually below it. You can see one there and the other one there. Accelerator cable. And here is the oil catch cam. Um, and below that are the oil pipes for the catch cam. Then you can see the handbrake cable. Exhaust um, hardware is the steering rack. Um, these are the brackets for the front cycle wings. Um, this is the brake pipe, or one of them that goes on the Dilong tube. Um, upper steering. Um, steering column, upper steering column, rear anti-roll bar. What else have we got here? Uh, these are the clamps for the steering rack. Uh, 
Sorry, I don't want to take anything out here at the moment. It's just that I don't have much space to put it down. But I'll take stuff out the other boxes and show you in more detail. So that's in box one. We've got another 12 to go through and I'll show you those now. So these are the additional items you get with the kit um, and all those boxes. Let me just go through this stuff for you quickly. So at the back here, we've got the side silencer. Um, I've opted for the track day exhaust, which exited out the back of the car. So there's another silencer underneath the fuel tank. This is the De Leon tube, um, part of the back suspension. This is the radiator and oil cooler. <clears throat> Uh, this is, they classify this as the new star radiator with the oil cooler bolted to the bottom of the radiator. Which is a bit peculiar because what they've sent in this box is a fastener pack for the oil cooler plus brackets for an oil cooler. So in the previous design, the oil cooler used to bolt in front of the radiator using these brackets mounted to the side. So I'm not sure why they've sent these. Uh, so the gear lever, which mounts into the gearbox. A few Jubilee clips, I believe that's for the dry sump tank. Uh, temperature sen sensor, I don't know if that's the water or the oil one and some wiring and a bracket for the heat expansion button, the coolant expansion bottle. So you can see the boxes are quite well packed. So my my steering wheel, um, you have two options. You have the suede or I think it's a normal rubberized one. Um, I opted for the suede one. So these are the um, carpets that go along the side tunnel. This is the, the I don't know what would you call this, but this holds the gear lever into the gear lever into the gearbox. And we have some IVA trim. Uh, this is the gear lever knob itself. Some brackets to go around the roll cage for the wing mirrors. This is some wiring that um, is supplied for the heated seats. Um, the heated seats I actually purchased after I actually purchased the car and I'll make a video of installing the wiring for it. Some IVA trim. This is the fastener pack for the headrest um, to mount to the roll cage. This is the, the beading which goes around the rear arches. Um, fastener pack for... I think this is for the, the floor mats. Another fastener pack for the seats. <clears throat> Some more fasteners for the boot cover. Another fastener pack for the roll cage. 
some more IVA trim. And another fasten pack for the other seat. <coughs> um, some roll cage protection. Another one of those. This is the tunnel cover. Hammer goes here, gear lever goes here. This is the headrest mount. <coughs> Mounts to the roll cage. This goes through here onto the back of the headrest. Um, a floor mat. Uh, these are the carbon fiber protection panels which go on the rear arches. And these are the seat belts. Um, the right hand side one, four point harness, right hand side. And the left hand side. <clears throat> So this box, air box. And the air box is actually, I removed it already. It's in the garage. I've got to show you, but I'll show you later. The connecting pipe between the air box and the throttle bodies. Uh, this is the rubber seal that goes around the air box um, for the vent in the bonnet. And the air filter they supplied. It's actually a genuine Ford part. Next box is fluids. So the first big one is five liters antifreeze they supply. The dip oil. Dot four brake fluid. Uh, a punch repair kit. It's quite nice for them. Um, and some windscreen wash and some sealant. Not sure where I'm going to need this yet, but they've supplied it. So this box is labeled up as shortages. First of all, Denatrol, um, this was not supplied by Catrim, this I bought myself, um, I just put them in the box. 5 litres of 5W50 oil, synthetic, and another 5 litres. These are the driver side seat uh, rails. We have one headlight uh, mounting bracket. So for the press studs, they actually provide a tool for you to um, install them. This is just part of the detrol. De uh, these bobbins, I suspect these are for the radiator. Mount to the chassis and some Lift tight. The next box is coolant. Some nice silicon hoses. Um, I believe these are for the coolant and also for the breather put on the oil um, dry sump tank. Radiator fan. It's 
actually quite a heavy unit. Um, the mounting pack for all the cooling hoses or the GDB clips. Additional um, cooling stuff, TPs. The thermostat housing or pressure, yeah, not thermostat. This is for the temperature gauge, goes in there. Another mounting bracket for the coolant expansion bottle. That's the other mounting bracket for coolant expansion bottle. Um, and some various other bits and bobs. This is the uh, oil catch can. Um, one in the radiator hoses. Another radiator hose. Some more hosing. And the cap for the coolant expansion bottle. And a blanking plate. Um, this plate's normally installed if um, in the firewall if you've got the hole for the uh, for the heater. Another heavy box. Suspension. So these are the, the brake pipes which go between the calipers and the body for the front suspension and also the rear um, from the chassis to the De Leon tubes. There's one pipe for that. There's three pipes in case. A good ridge, quite nice stainless steel braided pipes. These are the radius arms for the rear suspension. There's two of them. It's so a hardware pack for the rear suspension. Another hardware pack for the front suspension. This is the front lower wishbone. The other side front lower wishbone. This is the front top wishbone. And this is the other front top wishbone. <coughs> uh, mountain. This is the mounting pack for the front anti-roll bar. Uh, these bushes, I believe they go in the um, tops of the shocks. Mount brackets, the blue is the rubber for the anti-roll bar. Little covers for the anti-roll bar. The mounting brackets for the anti-roll bar. Uh, these little gold, golden hexagonal pieces. These are the extension for the front shocks uh, for the wide, wide track suspension. The mounting hardware for the rear entry roll bar, uh, the clamps, the brackets, the little arms which go between the, the entry roll bar and the rear hubs. And these are the mounting brackets which mount to the rear hubs and these little brackets mount onto this and the other end of these mount onto the roll bar, entry roll bar. These are the front suspension shocks. And these are the rear shocks. Bolstein, um, adjustable. These are the track day ones. Uh, the standard ones, I believe, aren't adjustable.
for lightning. You can all guess what's in this box, but anyway. Uh, fastener pack. I believe this is for the rear lights to mount onto the, um, the rear arches. Some more cable ties. The rear lights themselves. That's the left one, that's the right one. Um, the front indicator pods. Uh, the other front headlight bracket. Front indicator. Uh, the mounting brackets for, or the mounting bolt and spacer for the the horns. This is the number plate light. And this is the side indicator. Let's see, it's actually an LED light. Uh, this is the other indicator pod. Other side indicator. The other front indicator. One of the horns and the other horn. And here is the headlight. As you can see there. Just a, they're just the standard um, Catrum headlights, they're not the LED ones. This is uprights. So this is the front assembly, um, hub, disc, caliper, all comes pre-mounted onto the front upright for you. Uh, these aren't the standard calipers, the standard calipers are two parts. This was a, an optional extra to have the four part calipers. Last box axle. So various um, nuts and bolts. So these are the, the nuts for the rear axles, plus their washers. Uh, some bolts for the rear calipers as well. Um, the anti-rattle spring effect things for the calipers. <clears throat> Handbrake. The ears for the Dion Axel. Um, don't you see there. July 19. The 
the rear bearing holders for the reactor. And here we have the rear discs and the hubs pre-assembled. And in here we have the calipers and the um, mounting brackets. So guys, that's what's in the boxes. Um, there's a few items missing. Firstly was the air box. Uh, second, the expansion tank. One thing I didn't mention, which I've taken out the boxes as well, are the engine mounts and the bolts for that, and also the gear, gearbox mounts. Uh, the reason for that, I'll be installing the gearbox and engine in the next video. Um, as well, I didn't show you the seats, uh, the rear, arches and the front mud guards and the nose cone. I've already put those in storage um, to protect them while I'm building the car. So you'll have to see that at a later date. Um, I'm gonna put the link to the assembly guide which Caterham provide, so you guys can have a page through that. And in the next episode, I'm gonna be installing the engine and gearbox. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.